Today we, I haven't said anything today, have I? Today we're going to service the 2305. Uh, I'm going to put a new belt on it. I just feel like it's time. It's easier to get a belt that's in one piece and go to the John Dealer place than, than go to one where it's all broken because it always breaks where the numbers are. And you always want to get, I can't ever remember where the numbers are. I think I got them in my phone. Oh, here they are. So there's the numbers. Uh, LV2305. SH321732. Blah, blah, blah. Let me see if it's in my phone. Okay, I got the, I got the numbers right, so that's good. Okay. And, uh. They will ask that question, I, no matter what you do. The, I don't think they'll let you even take more than four or five breaths in there without saying, what's the, what's the VIN number? Uh, they got to do it, I guess. Well, let's open this up and blow it out. Let me go turn the air on first. We got plenty of air now. Coolant looks good. We're going to blow out this filter. There's your uh, oil filter. I don't know. Your results may vary. I got this one. A PPL 14612. I got the uh, OEM fuel filter, which is right here. They're kind of messy to change because they're kind of hard to start after that, but uh, it's okay. So uh, let's look at the oil anyway. Got plenty in it, but it's dirty. It's diesel. Diesel. Uh oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, we're going to just go around. I'm going to put her on the lift and Pull, look at the blades too, and all that other stuff. So there's a stick right there. I thought that was part of the belt. Let me clean this off, put it back in. I got the original book up at the house, so I'm going to look and make sure I get the right oil for it. But here we go. Just kind of poke at that. Get the belt off you can check them pulleys make sure they're good now another thing is when you put the spindles on these things new or old or whatever be sure and take the covers off so when you grease them the grease will get to them those shields around the bearings Okay, that's enough of that. Let's look at the route. Make sure we get her right here. So she goes down and around there. There's your spring. Take that off. Make it easier to get out. And uh, I'll let you read the book on how to get it out of there. I just want to get the routing correct. It goes uh, around that like a Z. Okay. This does not seem to have any flat surfaces it rides on so we can get a little bit more air and blow that out. I'll do that after you get, get the belt out of it. Now I can't do this two hand one handed but you can see here you put your 13 millimeter and you can manipulate that thing around. You're gonna have to get that spring off. Let's see if I can so here we are you can get this and then pull this belt off right here and then this will come way on in see and then it makes it a lot easier to get that off yeah, see how much easier that is <laughs> okay well we'll get her i need both hands but she takes all the tension off that belt's looking a little little glazed let's see if i've got uh it's, even all the way off it's tight so Fighting it with any pressure on it is going would be tough at best. Oops. Okay. I need to grab down there a little bit lower if I can. I'm getting in the way of myself here. Let's see if I can get her back here. And don't go popping yourself in the teeth with this thing, okay? So we should be able to just unhook her like that. There you go. And then there's your spring. And 
everything right there. So you get your wrench off the side, and now you can get her on out. I guess. What else you gotta do to get this sucker out of here? You'd think it would be easier to do this, wouldn't you? Well, it's never that easy, is it? Okay, I'm running out of time, so I gotta get going. You get the gist of it. So I had to take this thing off the top of this spindle here to get that off. And then, we'll see what we can do over there now. Uh, might as well just stay with me here. Okay. And we'll see if we can find numbers on the thing too. Got the big pack of the rain coming, so I gotta keep everything. I gotta go up and get stuff off the porch. So I was hoping that was it. It may not be. I think I can do it like this. Well, and again, maybe you can't. You gotta drop the what do you got to do here? I thought I was doing pretty good, and all of a sudden I'm doing pretty bad. Well, I thought I had this thing off one time, but it is definitely going to be remove these things time. Well, let's go remove them. That looks like 16s or 17s or something. Well, that's a 15, and you got to have a backup wrench. And I don't remember why I bent that. I think it was something to do with Mix Lexus. I don't have any trouble messing with tools to get them to work. So I think it's 15 back there. Yep, okay. And uh, I remember we threw this belt one time here a long time ago. And uh, I don't remember it being this much trouble, but maybe it was. I was in the heat of battles, I suppose. I had to take all three belts out, so that goes on the inside, grease up that spindle, and the ones over there go on the inside. So that goes on the right, from the right side. And this goes, that goes inside there. So I think what I can do is crank her up and lift up and maybe just pull the whole flipping thing out of there. I guess that's how you do it. I've never had the deck off though, I don't think you can because of this stuff at the front. But let's see if I can just get the belt out. Once you get all the bolts out, and you lose them, I took them far longer than I thought it would. You can get that bracket out. There you are. Let's go. I remember something just in time. It ain't a matter of the tractor number. It's a matter of the deck number. It's a 62-inch eggs edge extra, and whatever numbers it had. I don't think that's helping me any. Okay, well that's what it is. 62 inch edge extra. Okay, is there anything over here I need to know? No, okay, let's go. Wow, what a mess. What a, what a production. Okay, oh, I'll go get my hat. You need me to print this out for the routing too? No, I got the book on it. I, I and I took I took I took pictures of it, so I think I, I got it. I, that's I appreciate that. I'll just put it in the big book. Yep. So it's a different color. Same. Well this this has been hot and this is made out of Kevlar. Oh. This will turn into that one day. Okay. Well this is this used to cut five acres at a stretch and that was pretty I hard. I think on you'll You'll, you'll have a black belt. For a two black belt. For, yeah, I'm not cutting that much now, but that's, that's it. M163991. Okay. And yeah, we're at. You need anything else for it? No, I hope not. I, I didn't check the pulleys, but I might be back Monday. Okay. Because Nine. I might be, might be, one felt a little squirrely. Okay. Well, I do have the book. Uh, and I do have uh, a diagram of the mowing deck there. So it wasn't any trouble at that place though. Really nice people. Uh, here's, give them a little promotion here. James River Equipment. 
you go. And that was the one in Statesville, North Carolina. It's pretty good distance from me, but I figured it was better to uh, look at that. It's got an in. I kind of have thumbed through this, but they got it in all the different languages, so only about this much of the book really tells you anything you need to know. Well, let's go down there. It's going to rain, so I don't know how long this is going to take me. I don't think I need this. Uh, he printed a, I wouldn't for him. I've had to kind of leave the house a mess lately, so I apologize. That This is working out okay, but when it freezes, it heaves a little bit, and I, I'm glad it's there, but I kind of wish it was a little bit better. But anyway, let's go in there and put this belt on it, because as you can tell, it's getting a little a little dark looking. I think they're through spreading the, the, the goo out there. That's good, because it don't smell bad. This thing's tough. You can't use your 13 millimeter wrench to, to get this thing over. You gotta get a pipe wrench and a piece of exhaust pipe. And, and spring that thing over like that. And it was everything I had to get that spring on there with the original vice grips. And uh, so I got grease, I got three shots of grease in there. The only other pulleys are okay. I got some, my clevis pins back up in there. I got, I see some stuff I gotta tighten up. My gosh, it's almost two o'clock. I've been, wrestling with this thing oh there goes my papers well, that's not good oh that's why i lifted up the deck one of these has the key to it there it is that's my drawing so i got his drawing it's not near as detailed as mine so uh there's there's his thing it don't really tell you everything you need to know uh, well kind of i guess it does but not in a detail like this so it's like this you can see all that it works just like that so uh, oh. so uh, there's the springy one there that's uh, the one back over there and then there's that one and then the outboard one for, and then it goes that way around that thing I mean that's tough going there so I got everything greasing up and uh, it's kind of a question of what you do down here about oiling and greasing because it just attracts so much dirt. So uh, I am going to check that that differential case there. So, boy, this was tough. Ooh, let's grease her up. Whew. So there's the uh, V-belt part number and everything right there. It's a uh, 93.95. And I got my belt down in here. So this is where I keep my extra belts. And you'd be surprised how often that works out okay. There you go, down there with the dead mice. Okay, I've got it figured out. It's, a, it's an eight millimeter, and I got a bunch of paper towel stuff down in there because I don't want to get oil all over my new belt now, do I? At last. All right, you can forget about using a wrench on that sucker. Oh, I don't know where my big long extension is. Well, oh, that goes there. Oh, that don't go there either. That goes up here. Sometimes people help me. If you got this, you're in Fat City. So this is what it's going to take to get that plug out of there. And I don't think I'm going to bother sucking anything out of it. Just see if it's low or not. Because it's... uh. What's that bird doing? Get out of here, bird. And, uh, because there's no combustion gases or anything there. Okay. Okay, that, that's the only way to do this. Let's see if anything comes out. I think I might put my hand on it now if I can get there. Well, nothing came flying out of there, did it? Well, that's good. I'll put that up there. And uh, I think I'm going to just uh, put a little oil in there until it comes. Let's see. I don't think I can get my pinky in there. Uh, 
No, it's dry. Let's put some in there. Let's see how much it takes. I got plenty of gear oil. It took several minutes. I mean, you know, squeezing through a little hose, but it took probably, uh, I'd say about two or three ounces, which is pretty big for that little thing. That's not a very big gearbox. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, we'll go out and test it here in a minute. Let me clean up my mess here. Oh, okay. And uh, put, put it away. And so I got to tighten up for clean up. Right, tighten up for you clean up. It's a whole new phrase there. So 5W30 and 3 quarts. We know that because I wrote it on there. And we're getting ready to go for a little test drive. It looks good. <laughs> Always. It's a uh, nutcracking time, as they say. Let's, let's get away from everything. Just to make sure anything flies off. It won't fly off and do even more damage. All right, so... Heat up the glow plugs. There you go. going to uh, I'm gonna end this video here because this is longer far longer than I thought it would be so let's just call her quits and then we'll do the other stuff on another another episode so I'm in far enough well that was that was mildly uh, interesting and enjoyable and I'm glad I had a couple hours today to do that so cool so there's the Sean Memorial burn pit over there that sunk in on things. Let's go in there and work on that back room. Y'all want to see drywall? <laughs> okay, that'll be bonus footage. Stand by. Well, it's kind of messy in here, but I emptied out the back room. There's the old Radiant 5600 from FAO Schwartz in Chicago when I was a little boy. Let's go in here and see. Now, this room was a disaster. I mean, from the beginning. And it had cracks in the walls. And all that others have seen in the other videos. I've finished painting. I have moved everything over. I have mopped the floors. I have waxed the floors. And uh, it's, I'm going to take my shoes off. So this room is now completed, other than a little bit of caulking work that I'll do tonight. I'm going to paint around this window. But that there's my drywall. Well, no, I've got it over here now. Let's just put that there. And I'll turn the light on. I am actually rather proud of this wall. If you saw it before, it was really, really bad. So, uh, 
There you go. You can you can tell, but you can't tell like you could before. There was a big crack up there. Just right there, there was a big crack right there because this is the middle of the house. A nationwide home thing. And uh, so we're gonna uh I'm probably gonna go ahead and paint this and then caulk this later. I've got enough caulk in there now. So there you go, there's my drywall. And then uh oh. no, I'm all, I'm not I'm not on wide, so I'm very, very proud of that. I hate drywall work. And uh, you can see at the bottom there's some little bit of stuff, but that's not gonna be bad. Now this is where the headboard should go. There's 70 inches there, so you could technically get away with a king size bed in here. So what we're gonna do though is, uh, we're going to probably make this kind of a, a TV room of some kind. I gotta get another door for right there. Okay, well give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. And I guess that, I always say that it's redundant, but that's just the way I say it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. What a mess. <laughs> get that out of here. What are you doing in here?